Accelerated myelofibrosis currently defined by the um, circulating glass 10% to 19% usually confers a very high risk for progression and poor outcome, especially from diagnosis. However, um, the outcome of hematopoietic stem cell transplantation for these patients with accelerated myelofibrosis has not, has not been published yet so far. And uh, we analyzed the outcome of about 350 patients um, with clinical and genetic information with primary or secondary myelofibrosis, of whom we identified 35 had this accelerated phase myelofibrosis. And in comparison with uh, what we call chronic phase myelofibrosis, so uh, blasts less than 10%, and um, the um, accelerated phase had a higher count of leukocytes, but also lo slightly lower count of hemoglobin and more constitutional symptoms. And um, after a median follow-up of six years, we identified no significant difference in outcome of overall survival for chronic phase and, mild and accelerated phase myelofibrosis, but also no difference in relapse-free survival. However, there was a trend towards um, higher relapse risk for patients with um, accelerated phase myelofibrosis. And um, this was also confirmed in multivariate mm -hmm. and um, continuous analysis using spline analysis. We then did a short sub-analysis comparing circulating blasts and um, bone marrow blasts. And in myelofibrosis, bone marrow blasts um, are very difficult to measure because the patients have, myelof have fibrosis in their bone marrow and therefore many bone marrow biopsies are very frustrating. And we found that obviously um, patients with accelerated phase myelofibrosis with higher circulating blasts had also higher bone marrow blasts, but these um, results need to be interpreted with a bit of caution because uh, we identified only 80 patients with a valuable um, bone marrow biopsies.